Hey Better Editors, welcome back. My name is Chris and today we are going to check out Premiere's Replace Clip function. It's a quick tip that's going to help you edit faster. So the Replace with Clip dialog is an edit tool in Adobe Premiere that has become a staple in my workflow. I use this all the time because I think it is so much faster in many cases than using a traditional edit like a three-point edit. So to show you what I mean, let's look at this short little teaser that I've put together. It's very generic, but it gets the point across. Spooky, right? Just a quick note, I'm going to make all of the project footage as well as this project file available as a free download. Check out the link in the description below. Especially check out the project file if you want to know how I built this title sequence entirely inside of Premiere. Okay, so let's go back home. And I want to replace this second clip. So I'm going to pull this clip into my source monitor. And you'll notice in this clip the sun is shining from the left side of the frame while in this clip the sun is shining from the top. So I'm going to drop this one in. I already have an endpoint marked. And just to prove a point, let's do a three-point edit. So we'll go to the head of the clip and the tail, and we'll drop it in. Scale it up. Great. Perfect. So that's cool. It looks good. I think it would work. So now we're going to use the Replace with Clip dialog, and you'll see that it's faster than doing the three-point edit. So let's delete this. And I'm going to start by loading up my clip into the source monitor. And then I'm going to grab this second clip, Alt-Drag above it to create a duplicate. And then right-click this clip and go with Replace with Clip from Source Monitor. You'll see there's three options here. The Replace with Clip from Source Monitor is going to be what you need in almost every situation you can think of. So I'm going to select that. And now the scale and other motion properties have already been applied to my clip. I didn't have to push multiple buttons to get the clip into the sequence. It was an Alt-Drag and a right-click. Now we can make that even faster. So let's undo all of that. Okay, we're going to Alt-Drag again, pull it up, and I'm gonna use my hotkey, Control-R, and do the exact same thing. So mapping replace clip to a hotkey is gonna make you infinitely faster than you already were. That's pretty cool. So that's the replace with clip edit. I hope you agree that it's a good thing to implement into your workflow and maybe it'll help you out in the future. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure to subscribe and also download the free footage and project file at the link below. See you next time.